Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? I'll be getting in. Somebody's getting away. What's going on, people? <laughs> Woo, what's going on, people? It is a day. Of another day. Of another day. We call Monday. Anybody been said, What's going on, people? Oh. We got to do the Usa wire. Come on, let's work with me. Oh. <laughs> anyway, that being said, what's going to be going um, I, went, I went out to the store just to get a little rough draft of what I did today. You know, I went to the store. I have to learn to talk a little slower. But I went to the store. You know what it is? I have to get a camera that has more, um, I think they call it more, um, more what's going to be going um, Went out to the store. You know, I had my upala. You know, it's funny. Before I did do my, you know, whole upala. I like baggy clothes. I like clothes that are not fitting. I like stuff that is loose. Because like a lot of people always ask me, they say, well, Raven, you know, you work out, you work out. No, I used to work out a lot. Um, I used to always work out. That was like my thing. You know, I was always athletic. Every weekend I was in the park, you know, seven and a half miles, seven and a half miles, um, 800 sit-ups. You know, I was just like, that was my thing. Because, you know, with stress, if you turn to some type of, um, you know, thing as far as, how do you relieve your stress? And my, my, my relief for stress was working out. So, that being said, I went to the store today and I went down there and the guy told me today, um, you're tall. I said, mm. I wasn't tall yesterday, but okay. You play basketball? I was like, oh. so you know I'm a Gemini, so what happened to me was like, Girl, just go ahead on, don't say nothing, just let it go. I was like, bitch, handle that. Handle that. Because he's little. And he's running, you know, so just tell him, you know, what it is. So, I was like, why, why do you think I'm best? Why do you think I should be best? Because you're tall. I said, well, I didn't decide that I was going to be tall. This is how it came out. So, he was like, well, I think you should look into basketball. <laughs> So I'm saying to myself, well, you're short. How's your head game? He said, what do you mean? <laughs> you know, like, your big sister's getting some shit. I said, how's your head game? He said, what do you mean, like basketball? And I just looked. <laughs> and you know I know what I meant, but he was like, what do you mean? I said, you know what, you need to stop it. He started laughing at me. He was like, you know, the thing is like, I, I get along with everybody. Everybody always go along with me, but I know one thing within my life of living, there is not one person walking into this earth that's scared of me. I don't care if they're little or old or big or get, nobody's scared of me. So, people just walk up to me and say what they want, and sometimes I just go, whatever, and sometimes I say something back. Today I said something back. You know, the thing about it was that I went down to another store, and I was back, I went to, a, he was an Indian store. You know, he was an Indian store, he just had to, you know, and then I went to the Spanish store and talked them and you know made some friends and stuff like that I was a little shocked the things they were saying to me <laughs> but anyway mother can keep a secret ain't mother being said so it gets you to my topic of today the stereotypes of being short and being tall you know it's sad that the world we live in that we don't seem to break these traditions when it comes down to another human being living their life through their truth I don't think there's one man walking on this earth that is glad to be shorter than a woman. <laughs> I don't think that there's one, you know, and the thing about it, and I'm, I'm going to start with the short thing. Okay, all the short people. Some people enjoy being short. I'm not saying everybody. When I say the man, I mean every man because some men may like being short, you know. But my thing is this, is that a lot of times I know that short men have the most mouth. They're also the most angriest and they also are the ones who try to find a girl who's super duper tall. And the thing about it is it's like the Napoleon type of thing, the complex because he's so short and everywhere he goes he keeps hearing, you know, you're short, wow, you're short for a man. And by him being so short, you know, he's so little that he can't really respond the way he wants to. Because he'd probably be like, you know, oh, because I'm short, you know, so he overcompensate everything he does, you know, he gets angry, he gets mad. When you hear somebody scream, making a bunch of noise on the bus, so it gets to be, it's always a really short person. To me, I feel as though it's a lot of suppressed anger because people just keep fucking with them and they're tired of hearing that you're too short. And when it comes to guys who try to talk to girls like me, 
they would say, oh, you wouldn't want me because I'm short, right? Because I'm short. I says, no, that's not why, you know. I wouldn't want you because you're... <laughs> I wouldn't want you because I need some money. And if you got some money and you... Listen, from the tallest to the smallest, it don't matter. From the tallest to the... From the shortest to the tallest, it don't matter. From the tallest to the shortest, it don't matter. Anyway, the man said it. Then when you're a girl, everybody's like, the tall girl. So now you're tall, everybody's walks up to you like, oh, you tall. You know, if a guy come out there or something, every guy don't want to play basketball just because he's tall. Some guys just don't want to be play basketball. Some guys just don't want to be models because they're tall. You stereotype them into certain type of things as far as you're tall. We're going to stay on the guys right now. You know, it's okay when a woman is shorter, but short. She gets to wear those fabulous heels and stuff like that. And, you know, she can take her hair and make it really big and make herself taller. But there's some women that want to be taller, but, you know, it is what it is. But that's much more acceptable when it comes to society. When it comes to society, there's called the men. Men are supposed to be tall. Men are not supposed to be short. It's society's tradition, ways of mess messing up people's mind and fucking them over, which I always keep telling people, leave society alone and do you. Anyway. So a man is tall, he's supposed to be a model, he's supposed to be like, you know, this certain type of stereotype, which we have put him into a box, he says, no, I'm not a model. He finds most of his life saying, I'm not a model, no, I don't play basketball, I do me. You know, and the simple fact of the matter is that I'm sure he gets tired of hearing that, oh, because I'm tall, I have to be a basketball player, or because I'm tall. You know, and the thing about it, don't let you be a girl. Oh. Now, if you're a girl, and you're tall, you automatically got to be a man. That's a man. That bitch too tall, that's a man. That bitch, that's a man. So they sit back, you know, they always do their little, you know, and if you're a person like me, I watch people, they walk over and they do one of these numbers. Now, you already know. And you go, and he's like this. And then you look and say, Either you do two things. You look and you say, oh, please, what's this part? Or you go, you know what? <laughs> that little one better keep his little mouth shut because I would enjoy beating his little ass. Because a lot of times I'd be like, oh, I can fight, but boo, boo, you better be ready. You know, the sad part about it is that when it comes down to, oh, that was like a, that was like a coke move, wasn't it? But nobody knows it was and it wasn't for the coke, but anyway, big time. I don't do drugs, but anyway. I do glicker, but I don't do drugs. Anyway, so the thing about it is that, you know, you sit back and you watch yourself after you're looking at them and stuff. Because this is what we've been brainwashed to believe. That all tall women are men, or short men, or close to being a woman. And this is a stereotype we have not seen to move past as far as being in the world of growth. Do this happen to you, and you're a really short person, everybody always kind of picking you got something to say but you like, you can't say nothing back. Or you're a tall person, everybody just keep putting you into a box that you're supposed to fit in. I want to hear your answer. As far as, you know, being a person that's being true to you, you know, do you? I guess the next thing I should be a big girl. Like a big girl, like they always, everybody thinks that they can have sex with a big girl because she don't have a body. That's another stereotype. A lot of guys tell me, a lot of big girls, guys that wouldn't be seen with them either. Sad, but it's real. But it's funny because in a gay lifestyle, the gay guys love the big girls. Weird, right? It is what it is. Anyway, the man said, I want to know, are you put into a box that you're not, that you do not belong in, whether you're tall or short? Or even a big girl? Anyway, the bedside. I want to say hello, my dog. Meow. I want to say hello, my kids. I want to say hello, new people. Boom. I want to say hello, old people. Bam. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do the best you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them. Okay.